In this video, we're going to talk about virtual mailbox. What is it? How does it work? What kind of services and features can you expect? How much does it cost? Where do you get it? Everything you need to know with a virtual mailbox. Brandon, lovely to speak to you once more. Good to see you, Tim. And my understanding is you are the president of the Association of Virtual Mailbox People. How does that? Something like that, yes. I run a trade association called Retail Shipping Associates, mm -hmm. and we support the uh, retail pack and ship business centers throughout the U.S. We have about 7,000 members. Okay, good. So you, I'm going to consider you the, the, the authority on this. Can you tell me what is virtual mailbox? You know, is it email? Uh, uh, and how is it different than physical mail, the kind of stuff that shows up at my you house? You bet. And the answer is no, it is not email. It doesn't have anything to do with email, as a matter of fact. If you think about what your typical process is with mail, where it gets delivered to a mailbox or to your porch or your door or your business, you have to open it, scan it, look at it, decide what to do with it. Right. Well, just like everything else today, it's moving to a digital environment where you manage all of your mail and package receiving through a smart device or a computer. This makes a lot of sense to me. In fact, uh, particularly, so I'm the CEO of a media company uh, here out of Austin, Texas, and I travel a little bit, not only within the states but outside, so I can uh, access this from kind of anywhere I happen to be, right? Yeah, this is a perfect fit for people like you, Tim. You're on the road, you're traveling, you don't have time to go back and find your mail, look at it and decide what to do with it. So you can be sitting on the tarmac in an airport and decide what to do with your mail or packages. So people like you are CEOs, startups, entrepreneurs, people that are, on, that are road warriors and traveling, mm -hmm. uh, that need business addresses throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. Many of the virtual mailbox customers have multiple addresses. They can select an address from any provider that uses the system. This is, this is a big deal for, for it people is. like me, and I'm talking about uh, CEOs versus Australians, uh, also people like me. Uh, but what I'm talking about here is that as a business, uh, when I want to start a business, having a virtual address is a huge benefit to me because I can kind of do that from anywhere. And if I can get mail from that and look at it on my app, this is a, a massive big deal for me in terms of business. What are some of the other segments that can benefit from this? Well, really anybody that, that has mail or package receiving needs. So you have somebody that's the Amazon Prime customer and they have problems getting packages delivered, gets put on a porch and somebody steals it. Right. And, and I want to correct one thing. This is an actual address. The providers for the service have an actual physical address in cities and states throughout the U.S. So your packages and mail are going to a physical place. And then somebody is managing that mail and package depending on what you want to happen with it. This makes a lot of sense. So it's called a virtual address, but it's actually a physical location. It is. And it's not a post office box, it's a real address. It is. It's a retail pack and ship business center. They've been doing this for years with the old school private mailbox service. But again, you would have to go there to pick up your mail and manage it physically. This way, they're still receiving mail and packages for you, but if you tell them to shred it, open it, read it, forward it, whatever, you're done with it, and Sounds they've handled good. everything for I, you. I do have those delays on the tarmac at a plane. Yes, that you do. Totally I've been there. Uh, and I want to talk about the price. Obviously, uh, with the evolution of this to a digital service, uh, and a lot more features. I'm kind of anticipating I'm going to be hit with a huge bill here. What are we talking about compared to, for example, physical uh, mailboxes? Well, there are about 25 million mailboxes, physical mailboxes, rented throughout the U.S. Okay. And the cost for the virtual mailbox service through iPostal One is about half of what you would spend at one of those boxes. Yeah. So for what it saves you in time and energy, uh, it, it, it's so superior. Yeah. For about 10 bucks a month, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds all right. You've got a virtual mailbox. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so there you are. Uh, that's everything you need to know about a virtual mailbox. If you're interested in getting one of your very own, head over to ipostal1.com. You can sign up. It's easy. Pick an address really all the way across the states and have your very own virtual mailbox and all the features and benefits we just spoke about. <laughs>